Alright guys, so I know this is kind of unexpected, but I figured I'd give you like a little surprise. Uh, this is a new unboxing. It's actually an unboxing of a mixed, some mixed things. It's 150th scale, 164th, and something that uh, my brother got. So, um, let me just run the razor blade and I'll get this started. Alright, so the first thing is actually from the United Kingdom. It's from JB Rawcliffe and Sons. Um, I'm not going to show you the front of the envelope because it shows my address and also their address, which I don't know if they want shown on YouTube, uh, but I don't want mine shown on YouTube, uh, so I'll open it from the back. But uh, they actually contacted my brother through his website. If you don't know it's his website, it's heavytruckphotos.com, and uh, the person, I, I don't know who they were or exactly what they did in the company, but they said, can I send you a free calendar? So it came all the way from United, you know, the United Kingdom, so... Um, and they actually contacted him a while ago, so I don't know if they just got the chance to send it out now, but that's actually pretty cool that they did that. Um, so I'll just open it up here and, and show you guys. I don't know exactly how to open it without ripping it. Um, maybe some of the United Kingdom guys on here will know them. Uh, when we looked them up, they were actually a very large company. I think they even made models. So, uh, there is the calendar, and there's also some other stuff in here. It looks like a brochure or a pamphlet. Um, and they do all heavy hauling and whatnot. Um, and that is, that's really cool how somebody from all over the United Kingdom will send... Um, stuff over here, so I'll just give you a quick look through here. Um, and uh, that is just really, really nice of them. I don't want to spend too long on this because I could probably go on for a while here, but um, just to feature a few of them real quick so you get the idea. Um, if anyone actually does know this company and have seen them, um, let me know because I'm interested to know. And that is really cool of them and really nice of them. So uh, if anyone from the company does watch them, uh, thank you very much. And uh, we'll definitely, uh, you know, remember this for a while. I don't think I'll ever forget this, that somebody from there will actually send us stuff. So uh, thank you to J.B. Rodcliffe and Sons. Um, anyway, next thing. Uh, this is something that I bought from uh, American Logger. I'm sure most of you know him on here. He doesn't upload videos, but I can assure you he has a massive collection. Um, this is the WSI Boom Transporter. It, uh, it is unfortunate that I don't have a 11200 anymore to actually put it to use. But um, I bought it to resell, and I broke even on it, which is fine with me because I didn't think I could get much uh, for it on eBay, but um, I'm excited to see it because it is it is extremely rare. So I'll put that over there. Um, sorry about that interruption, but um, anyway, uh, it's WSI Boom Transporter. I don't know where I left off. I got interrupted by something, um, but it's the WSI Boom Transporter. It is extremely rare. Uh, people pay a lot for these. I wish that when I had my 11200, I could have gotten one of these because I probably would have really enjoyed it. It's pretty much the European boom launch trailer for anybody in the United States. Um, and I'll uh, take it out to show you guys. I will probably uh, take pictures of it from my page on Facebook and I'll probably make a review of it because I, I really would like to have this on my channel. So. Um, comes like this and here we go so uh, this is where the boom will actually go on to the trailer so the boom actually makes the trailer and you rest the boom uh, this is where the telescopic sections would rest and on the boom itself it actually has pins to adapt to that so that's pretty cool um, and when it turns those cylinders actually work and here is the tractor Um, which is really cool, um, and it is a twin steer, as you can see, uh, cab opens, um, and it's overall just really cool, and 
I've always looked for one of these, but I could never find one. And if you do find one, it's extremely high priced. Um, and then uh, this is the adapter for the boom for the fifth wheel. So uh, you would put that on the fifth wheel. I'm guessing it just goes like that. Um, and the boom will actually bolt into there with these pins right here. And you could transport the boom. So that is a very cool model. I can see why it goes for so much. It's really killing me right now that I don't have an 11200 to use it on but um it would probably be a pain to even take down the whole jib and disattach the boom and everything but really cool um and i'm sure uh the person who's getting it who is uh t-dog here on youtube uh tony i'm sure he's going to really enjoy it um so i'm also glad that it's going to a good home so i'll put this to the side over there and i'll show you uh the last thing, uh, which I believe is my brother's. Um, it's one of his 164 scale trucks, I'm pretty sure. So uh, let's get this unboxed here. I don't know which one it is. Uh, I think it's, it should be a green one. I'm not sure. A green 379, I think, but I'm not exactly sure. So uh, he didn't tell me anything was coming. So. Maybe he ordered something and didn't tell me or it's, it's a surprise or something like that. Um, anyway, so, oh, it is. Uh, this is the Diecast Promotions, the W900 with the grain trailer. I think he said it's, it's, a, it's a pretty rare model. He didn't say it was extremely rare or anything, but... Um, sorry about that, but... Uh, that looks to be in focus here. Um, so I guess I'll take it out. I don't think he would really uh, care too much. I'm going to probably save him the time. Um, so, uh, let's get to that. So, I'll just move this out of the way because there's no point of having the brown box. Um, I don't think there's anything else in it anyway. Um, so, let's get this unboxed. It looks pretty cool, too. It looks uh, it's very different, which I like. Um, he, he will be actually getting a lot of these 164 scale trucks, so if you're subscribed here and you uh, like uh, these DCP uh, 164 scales, um, you're probably in for a treat because uh, he's, he's ordering quite a lot of them. So um, I will definitely be showing them on here. So um, the trailer, which I actually really like the look of. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe it's because you don't have too many uh, bright colored ones. But uh, here is the trailer. And you can see it's a green trailer. Pretty much like a, uh, a belly dump. Um, and this is really cool. Uh, I actually opened which is really cool. I like how uh, Goodyear on the tires is green. And now I will get to the tractor. So uh, here is the tractor with the fenders really like the fenders I think they give it a really nice look um, and that just looks pretty cool I in my personal opinion I think it would have looked a little bit nicer with the hood of the cab the roof of the cab painted green but I think that looks pretty balanced like that and a cool thing about it is that they actually give you a cover for the fifth wheel right there so if you uh, have them displayed like if they're at a show or something uh, that would be pretty cool so really like this a lot um and there will be a lot more 164th scale unboxings coming so uh, hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing it, it was um a surprise to myself to make it honestly i i wasn't gonna make it but i figured i'd make it for you guys um not to go off on a tangent here but uh the last collection up update that i uploaded i know it was looking pretty um pretty bare uh, collection wise sorry about that guys um, there were a lot of mixed emotions so to say on that video so hopefully this video will cheer some people up um, so uh, sorry to anybody that I kind of disappointed with the lack of models in my collection but um, I kind of got tunnel vision to get uh, my Evo which is the car that I want once again um, 
So I'm, I'm just focused on getting that. So uh, thank you guys for watching and take care.